Hello and welcome back to the lounge. Today is Tuesday, July 10th, and this is Let's Talk Tuesday. I'm on vacation in the jungle next to almond bushes, getting this rich wood. Chilly day outside, you have a nice mug. Draw is a bit tight, but it's really pulling in a lot of flavor. You're gonna be able to travel to Orlando within an hour. Yeah. And they've got all these things where they can find out the information, yeah. but they want firsthand. I came here in 1989 when I was 10 years old. I had no idea about anything about the restaurant business. Hello and welcome back to the lounge today. Welcome back to the lounge. I know this is the first episode after our little hiatus that we took last uh, week. Yesterday, you watched Coffee and Cigars. I was pre-recorded. Well, it was supposed to air last week, but I had some tech technical difficulties. <laughs> you know how that goes. But this week on Let's Talk Tuesday, we have Rob Rico from Express Auto Lease. How are you today, man? I'm well. Thank you for having me. So tell me a little about a uh, little bit about yourself, Rob. How, who uh, are you? Where are you from? All these, well, all these things. Uh, Typical Miami, a Cuban heritage, born and raised in Miami, um, went to Belen, went to FIU, and uh, I spent a good portion of my life working in car dealerships, and uh, I had some, had some children, and I decided that I'd like to see them, so uh, I am now uh, in the business of letting people not go to car dealerships. So tell me a little bit about the business. What is it exactly that Express Auto Lease does? Our company, again, Express Auto Lease, what we do is we take all of the hassle and headache out of buying cars. Uh, I know lots of car dealerships advertise that fact, but it isn't because you still have to go to a car dealership. Uh, what we do is we save our customer time and we save our customers money. Um, for example, I just did a car for a mutual friend of ours. Um, he said, okay, my wife wants an Audi Q5. It has to be white. It has to have backup camera. That's all. I went through my Audi dealership network. I found him the best price, delivered the car to his wife at her home. Um, how do we do this? A lot of people ask, why can you get a better deal than I can going to the dealership? It's very simple. Through my years of working at car dealerships, a customer who buys a car a year is an amazing customer. A person who buys a car for themselves this year, a car for their spouse the next year, a car for their child the year after that, then they come back because their lease is over. That's an amazing customer. Everyone in the dealership knows that person's name, from the owner to the gentleman who washes the cars. Mm. That's one car a year. Most of our dealerships that we do a lot of business with, we buy between 15 and 25 cars a month. Mm. Okay, there are some dealerships that we work with that we account for 15% of their total business and, uh, year over year. So obviously we're entitled to special pricing, which is fleet pricing supported by the manufacturers. Moreover, a lot of my customers, actually I'd say a majority of my customers are very busy people, attorneys and physicians and things like that, and they simply don't have time to go spend five hours at a dealership. <clears throat> One of my last jobs in dealerships was I did finance at a dealership for about five years. If you already know the customer is coming, if the car is ready, if all the paperwork is ready, if it's been submitted to the bank, you're still gonna be in the dealership an hour and a half, two hours. A lot of my customers simply don't have time for that. We facilitate, all of the paperwork is done, we deliver the car to their home or their place of business, they sign their paperwork right there and take delivery of their car. Did you always know that you were gonna go into the car industry or the car sales business? Well, my father retired from the car business. I grew up around the car business. I learned how to drive manual transmission when I was eight years old and I'm not a tall man. So I was <laughs> not a tall child. Eight years old, I could barely see over the steering wheel. So I grew up around it. Um, my father was an owner of dealerships. My father was a general manager of dealerships. So I just kind of started working at dealerships in high school, summer breaks and things like that, and just kind of stayed through college and still doing it. What's some, what some of your favorite parts about being in the, in the specific industry? Uh, well, it depends. I, I, like, I like being able to, to meet people. I like talking to people. We're friends. We know yeah. each other. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm a social person. I talk to everyone. Um, and it's just fun to be able to meet different types of people in different businesses. Because the one thing in common in Miami, this isn't New York. Everyone in Miami needs a car. Mm -hmm. So I do any make and any model. I've had customers call me and say, Rob, I need a Nissan Sentra. And I've had customers call me and say, hey, Rob, I need a Rolls-Royce Ghost. Mm. Those cars, I mean, a Rolls-Royce Ghost is a $380,000, $400,000 car versus a Nissan Sentra, which is an under $20,000 car. So I just like being able to meet a whole bunch of different people. Yeah, I imagine you meet... We, I can't even imagine. Well, we, I've told you a few stories in private. I'm not going to mention some of our celebrity customers yeah. uh, online. But, um, yeah, we've, we've had a, a number of celebrity customers, athletes uh, in various sports franchises in Miami. And the one thing they all have in common is they all need cars. Yes. And especially for some people who are higher-profile people, 
going to a dealership is not exactly a, a fun thing. Because for a regular Joe, going to a dealership takes all day. Imagine a celebrity who's constantly getting interrupted. So they like to call us. We recently did a, a, a two cars, staff cars, for a, a very prominent Miami athlete. And uh, he just called up our company. And he said, guys, I need these two cars, uh, one for his chef and actually one for his son who's going away to college. And he doesn't want uh, you know, him to drive something very expensive. So we got two cars. We delivered them to his home. He signed his papers right there on his dining room table. And it's as simple as that. What does the, the future look like for Rob Rico? What are you well, thinking about? What I like, uh, I think that the conventional car business, much like the conventional just about everything else business, is changing rapidly. Mm-hmm. I don't think that people, especially people of your generation, a little younger than I am, want to go spend all day at a car dealership. Amen, brother. You're going to do your research online. You're going to decide, Rob, I want a whatever, a Mustang, just to use a car. Mm-hmm. Okay, Javi, what color would you like? Okay, I want a black one. No problem. What equipment do you need? Okay, it has to be manual transmission, and it has to have the big engine, and it has to have navigation. No problem. Within a day, usually within a couple of hours, but sometimes it takes a little longer because of responses of dealerships that I deal with, you'll have a couple of options in your email. Rob, I want that one. No problem. I'll send you a couple of options on how you can do it, lease, purchase, etc. You select, and usually within another day, the car's right out there, parked right there. Which is not legal, but they let you guys get away with parking out there. Yeah. <laughs> this looks like something that's going to be very machine-like, very it's, architectured. It's very. It's definitely making it easier. Mm. <clears throat> I do have customers. Well, it solves a huge problem, which is a waste of my time sitting exactly. in that dealership. A hundred percent. And on top of that, especially with things online, everything is going more toward convenience and service. Um, our mutual friend, who I just did that that Audi for, he had an Audi that he wanted to return. But his wife, I mean, they have, a, they have a, a young baby and they have a baby on the way. So uh, I delivered her new Audi to her home and I took her old one and I returned it to the, to the appropriate dealership. So it's just completely seamless. If you know yeah. what you want. Now, I do have customers that enjoy test driving cars, but usually mm. they go to several dealerships and drive a few cars. Then they make their decision and then they call me. They tell me, Rob, I want XYZ car. And it's as simple as that. And if they wanted to test drive it, would you be able to facilitate that as well? Absolutely. Yeah. I so work, we have a dealership network. We're the largest uh, uh, lease consultancy service in South Florida. Mm. Okay. So we have a network of over 300 stores that we work with. And again, between the least expensive car on the market to the most expensive car on the market. So what ends up happening is they'll say, okay, if they live in Coral Gables, say so go ahead and go to X dealership, drive the cars. Then once you're gone, when you're, when you're fine, you're comfortable with your selection, then you go ahead and call me. Or sometimes I actually have friends who will, uh, who will facilitate uh, an on-site test drive. Anything that you think our viewers should know about buying a car or some of the things that they should take into consideration before making a selection of, of that magnitude, you think? People get very nervous. Mm-hmm. The reputation of dealerships has been not excellent for many years. Yeah. Though... It doesn't deserve it as much as it used to uh, since the internet. I mean, everyone, every, every consumer is an informed consumer. But we really take, we take a lot of, number one, we save, we save our customer average thousands of dollars. And number two, it's stress-free. Mm-hmm. You don't have any kind of high pressure. You don't have any kind of pushiness. You don't have that stress that comes with, I, 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 don't, I don't feel comfortable. I want to leave the dealership. And then everyone and their mother comes out and talks to you. Yeah. to get you to not leave. Mm-hmm. Listen, I did this for years, and through having children and just maturing, I didn't like it anymore. I want to be able to help my customers. Uh, we're a volume bro- you know, a consultant firm. We don't, we don't try to make a ton of money on every car. We make minimal commissions, but it's still, on average, is thousands less than you would pay if you went to the store yourself. Mm-hmm. Well, Rob, anything else you want to let the audience know before we, we wrap this up? Uh, come to Gable Cigars, and uh, Javi's going to put all of my social media downstairs here in the description. Yeah, and uh, call me if you need any car. <laughs> all right, guys, thank you so much for staying tuned to the end of this episode. If you like what we had to say and you want to see more, not only follow us on Instagram at Gable Cigars at The Lounge on Media, but follow Rob at Rob Express Auto. Be here. And we'll <laughs> catch you guys tomorrow for Whiskey Wednesdays number 10.